Hello, everyone. How are you, people of God? It is Lakedra again, and I'm so excited to be on and bring to you another word of encouragement and empowerment and to pray and come in agreement with those that are standing, believe in God for the restoration and the salvation of your family and your marriage. As the word of God tells us that we are to fight for our loved ones, fight for our families, fight for our children, fight for your home. Nehemiah chapter four, verse 14 tells us this. And so people of God, it doesn't matter what you are going through. God would teach your hands how to war. You are not dealing with flesh and blood enemies, but against principalities and powers and rulers that are in the unseen realm, wicked spirit and rulers that are in dark places. And I know it is, it is hard right now for so many to believe that you are not dealing with your spouse. I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to guide you and, and have your eyes to be enlightened that you come to this knowledge of truth. Because as Proverbs chapter 6 verse 31 tells us, but if he is caught, meaning the thief, he must pay back seven times what he stole. He must pay back, it says, seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. And remember what the Lord Jesus Christ said, how the Holy Spirit will give you the power, power over all the powers of the devil. And as Jesus gives us this true revelation in Matthew chapter 12, verse 29, who else can enter into the strong man's house and spoil his goods and first bind the strong man and then spoil his house? Except it is the Holy Spirit. And so people of God, the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us, the dwells on the inside of you is the one that will cause you to take back everything the thief thinks he has stolen from you. He will cause you to bind that strong man and take his house. Take what he has stolen from your family, your life, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you into all truth. Who has given you power over all the powers of the devil. Hallelujah. As Jesus has given us the Holy Spirit, he has given us this authority, this same power and authority, as he tells us in Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Remember what Jesus says, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. And so we know that serpents and scorpions speaks about demons. We know that God is not actually talking about serpents and scorpions. He is talking about demons, how he has given you power over them. But if your eyes are blind, if it is hard for you to see, if you're not able to know what you are dealing with, what you are facing, who and what you are experiencing, you will not be able to come against your enemy. It's only when he is caught, you will be able to take back everything he has stolen. It, it is only when your eyes are open, you will succeed in all that you do. You cannot come against an enemy you don't believe is there. This is the same thing the Lord was telling the disciples who wanted to know why they couldn't cast the devil out of the man's son. Jesus said it's because of your unbelief. And it's the same with you and I, people of God. If your eyes are shut, if they are closed, if the speck is in your eye, you will not be able to see past it. You will not be able to see past that log to help your spouse come out who is bound by the enemy. 
This is how the kingdom principles work, people of God. And so if we are steady saying what our loved ones is doing and what our spouse is doing, this is only to bring distraction. It, it will keep the veil over your eyes. It will keep the veil over your mind. This seducing spirit, seducing spirits deceives. This is not talking about perversion or sexual immorality. A seducing spirit is a spirit of deception. This is what 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 through 3, Paul talked about, as I shared it in my teaching, Paul talked about what the Holy Spirit said, that in these last days, there will be many seducing spirits who will cause marriages to fail it would be through whether it be through teachings or wicked influences or whether it be through people this spirit will come against marriages there are spirits that are assigned to destroy families and marriages people of God and I know this may be hard for many to understand this but it is the truth we all have seen it play out in our lives and marriages and families and homes and you are thinking that you are dealing with human beings but you are not these spirits plot and if a Christian believer or an unbeliever are not knowing what they are dealing with the thief is not required to pay back and let go what he has stolen it is only when he is caught he is only subject to you when he is caught Jesus says that they are subject unto us meaning they must obey us they are up under our restrictions it is what we bind on earth they are bound and what we loose on earth it is loosed God can only back a Christian up who has faith. If you are in denial, if you are not able to see the truth, if there is blindness there, spiritual blindness over the mind, the devil will make you a slave and can rule over your family and your house for generations. But guess what? You are free only when you believe. Because it is the truth that sets you free. And so I want to encourage you people of God. I'm telling you. The moment your eyes begin to open. And you come to this truth. Meditating on the scriptures. Allowing the Holy Spirit to renew your mind. This is what will give you power and authority over the enemy. Is when you know the, when you know the truth. It sets you free. This is what we read in the writings of Paul when he was writing to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4. He shared with him what the Holy Spirit revealed about the seducing spirits. This spirit will begin its attack on marriages specifically. The Holy Spirit gives these details. If you see in that passage of what Paul the Apostle was talking about, he's sharing the attack that the enemy will bring upon marriages. Forbidden marriages, coming against marriages with strange doctrines of devils and through many avenues, even speaking to the minds of believers that once knew God and bring down families. As you meditate on these powerful scriptures, the Holy Spirit can enlighten your eyes and show you deeper realms of what he's talking about. It's a seducing spirit that comes in and turns a husband against his own wife or even can cause him to go get in another relationship. But it starts through deception. This is what's happening even to believers who once knew God. So just think about an unbeliever. He doesn't know that he's up under the power of the enemy. 
that through his adultery and, and through these, these deceiving spirits or generational curses that he's up under the influence of the enemy that has him coming against his own spouse, his wife and the wife as well coming against her own husband. It's a deceiving spirit. And so the enemy causes people to rebel against this holy matrimony. Marriages that God is doing things in the earth through. And many have seen this through false religions. I've seen this in my own life and family and marriage. Where false doctrines of devils would come in and divide the husband against his wife or the wife against her own husband. The enemy is using whatever he can. Turning people away from the faith, from the truth. Only to come and to destroy families. Which is what prospers our land. Without healthy families, how can we prosper? How can the land be healed? How can God's will be done of what he promised in the beginning? When he made them male and female, he said, and blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it. But how can this happen if the home is divided? For a house that is divided will not stand. And so I want to pray. For everyone, every believer that is struggling with having faith, with strength. You're struggling with having strength and faith in the truth. If you are overwhelmed by what you are seeing in the natural, when you are so hurt now and you're broken and, and you're hurt. When you are in a place to where you are hurt and you feel like you are in a pit. I want to pray especially for you so that you can rise up. And begin to see the truth. Once you see and know the truth. This will set you free. Once the speck is removed. Once all the trauma begins to leave. And faith begins to rise in your heart. Because you know the truth. You can take back everything the devil has stolen. Remember in 1 Samuel chapter 30. When David's wives was taken and all the men that were with him, families, were taken by the Amalekites. The Bible shows us clearly that David was not able to take back what the enemies had stolen until the enemy was discovered. Until he knew who and what he was dealing with and where they were. If you read in that chapter, David was not able to slay his enemies. And take back what they had stolen. If he could not detect where they were. And who it was that had taken his families. And so if you are missing the mark. If, you, if there is error. If, if there is unbelief. If there is no knowledge and understanding. The enemy will always have the upper hand. But by the grace of God. Your eyes are being enlightened in Jesus name. Your spouse is coming out in Jesus name. The Holy Spirit will not have you ignorant people of God. He will not. He is the spirit of truth. And so the devil will not be able to hide for long. He will not be able to hide for long. Many of you are going to discover and see who and what you have been dealing with. You are about to see your spouse come out. But you must continue hearing. Keeping the whole armor of God on. Keep standing in the truth as Paul the Apostle tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Starting here he says a final word you have to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. He says if we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers. And authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in the dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. These are invisible places. He says, so therefore put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. 
then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. And so many right now are in a time of evil where your marriage is on a, an attack. Your marriage is being attacked. But if you don't know, if you do not know what you are dealing with, you will not be able to have the armor of God on. The shield of faith. The helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God, the truth, the mind of Christ, knowledge and understanding. But when there is blindness, you cannot see your enemy. To resist the enemy, to bind him, to have authority over him. You will not be able to recover all, but as your eyes are able to see, I pray in Jesus' holy name, God begin to open up your eyes, your ears, in Jesus' name, that there be no distractions, no more focusing on your spouse and what he's been doing or she has been doing, but getting your eyes on the true enemy, getting your eyes on the true enemy. My God, you are about to recover all in Jesus' holy name. Father, I thank you for everyone that has joined with me. I come in agreement with them now. Lord, that you will begin to open up eyes, oh God, and ears. Help spouses who have been standing in the gap for their marriages and their spouses, oh God. Help their eyes to see. Help them, God, to heal from the hurt so their eyes can see. Oh God, in your precious holy name, I pray that their mind be stayed upon you. Lord, that you help them. Renew their minds, their hearts, oh God. No longer will there be grudges. No longer will there be unforgiveness. But they begin to see the devil is the one behind it all. In Jesus' name, that there will be reconciliation and restoration and, and healing in these marriages. Healing in relationships. Oh God, thank you. And there will be peace. There will be deliverance wholeness. Thank you, Lord. Way where spouses are coming home as the standards, oh God, begin to take their authority. Thank you, Lord God. The devil will flee from them. The devil will flee out of their homes, out of their marriages, out of the lives, even if their children have been affected. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Wayward spouses are returning back home. Thank you, Jesus, for causing spouses' eyes to be open who have been standing in the gap. Thank you for renewing their strength, helping them to stand firm against all the wiles and the strategies of the devil. Thank you, Lord, that the enemy is not hidden. You are revealing truth. You are revealing truth to your people, oh, God. And they are knowing how to come against the devil. They are knowing they shall know. Thank you, Lord God. You're teaching their hands how to walk and to bring down this enemy because their marriages have already been healed. Their marriages has already been delivered. But the devil wants to come in and get them to believe, oh God, that you have not set them free. But thank you by your blood, you have set them free. And the enemy cannot destroy the enemy cannot destroy their lives, their families, their spouses, their marriages. Thank you, Lord God. You have made them whole in Jesus' name. You have set them free in your holy, precious name. Thank you, Lord God. Marriages are coming out being what you have created them to be. And nothing shall by any means stop it. Praise your holy name. You have sent forth your word and it has healed. It has delivered. It has set free and nothing shall by any means stop it. In Jesus name, no evil, no evil shall come nigh our dwellings. Thank you, Lord. Your people are recovering all. They are taking back everything the devil has stolen. Thank you. You are causing them to succeed. You are causing your people to succeed in all that they do. And there are coming more and more breakthroughs and testimonies. Oh, God, hallelujah, to declare what you have done. Thank you, Lord. Your people have overcame the devil by the blood. Oh, God, thank you. They have overcame the devil by the blood and the word of their testimonies. They shall testify how their marriages are healed 
and delivered and free. And the eyes of their spouse's understanding has been enlightened. And their eyes have been opened to the truth. Oh God, and the truth has set them free. Thank you, Lord God, that all oh, hostility and enmity between spouses in the lives of your people are put to death now on the cross. It has been put to death over 2,000 years ago. Devil, we bind you in Jesus' name. You have no power over these marriages. You have no power over families. You have no power over spouses. You have no power over the minds of God's people. You have no power over spouses who have walked away from God. We bind you in Jesus' name when we declare and decree that they are free. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. We rebuke you. We bind you in Jesus' name. And we have overcame you by the blood. We rebuke you in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us power over the devil. Thank you for giving us power over the devil, Lord God. I stand with each and every one right now. Thank you that they are free, God. Thank you, God, they are free. Thank you, their minds are free. Thank you, Lord God. We give you the praise in your precious holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Thank you, Jesus. All the people of God give you praise. We praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for setting the captives free. Thank you, Lord, for setting spouses free who have been standing in the gap. And you're opening up their eyes, causing them, oh God, to see the truth that their marriages has been healed. All they need to do is stand their grounds, stand their grounds and torment the devil with the truth that their families and marriages are healed and resist the devil and he shall flee from them. We praise your holy name, praise and people of God. God loves you. Continue standing on the truth that your marriage is healed. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm telling you, you are winning over the enemy when you don't believe his lies. When you don't believe his lies, but believe by faith that you have recovered all already because of the blood of Jesus. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. And until next time, remember you are blessed. Bye-bye.